Let your quacks and newspapers be cutting their capers, vulturing the vapors, the scratch of the gout. With their powders and potions, their sams and lotions, the corn and their notions, I heard mighty put on. Would you know the true physics of bother pathetic and pitch to the dibble, cram, colic, and spleen? You'll find it, I think, if you take a big drink, put your mouth to the brink of a glass of whiskey. Then stick to the crater, the best thing in nature for sinking your sorrows and raising your joys. Oh, white moderation, oh, dose in the nation can give consolation like whiskey, me boys. No liquid cosmetic for lovers athletic or ladies pathetic can give such a bloom. As for sweet by the powers, a whole garden of flowers never gave their own bowels such a darling perfume. And in the liquor store air, if you're wishing to share, to be turning your hair when these grizzled are rent. Sure the sun has the merit to make the true spirit so strong it will turn the hair in your hands. Then stick to the crater, the best thing in nature for sinking your sorrows and raising your joys. Oh, since this perfection, oh, doctor's direction can guard the complexion like whiskey, me boys. While a child in the cradle, my nurse was a ladle, was filling my mouth with a notion of pep. When a drop from her bottle slipped into my throttle, I capered and raggled clean out of her lamb. On the floor I lay sprawling, kicking and bawling, till father and mother was brought to the fore. All sobbing and sighing, conceived I was dying, but soon found I only was creating but more. Then stick to the crater, the best thing in nature, for sinking your sorrows and raising your joys. Oh, Lord, how oh, they chuckle, leaf babes in that truckle, they only could suckle with whiskey, me boys. Through my youth of ingression, of years of depression, my childhood's impression still clung to my mind. For at school or at college, a ball of sub knowledge, I never could gulp till with whiskey combined. And as older I'm growing, time's ever bestowing on air and sportation a flavor so fine. And now here they may lecture about you, but his nectar itself is the only true liquor to buy in. Then stick to the crater, the best thing in nature for sinking your sorrows and raising your joys. Oh, art is delighting for courting or fighting. There's not so exciting as whiskey, me boys. Come, guess me this riddle. What be pipe and fiddles? What stronger than mustard or milder than cream? What best with your whistle? What's clearer than crystal? Sweeter than honey and stronger than steam? What will make the dumb talk? What will make the lame walk? What's the elixir of life and philosopher's stone? And what helped Mr. Brunel to dig the Thames Tunnel? Sure wasn't it whiskey from old Guinness own. Then stink to the crater, the best thing in nature for sinking your sorrows and raising your joys. Oh, Lord, I'd not wonder if lightning and thunder was made from the plunder of whiskey, me boys. Come, all you loyal heroes, wherever you may be. Don't hire with any farmer till you know the kind he is. You'll get up there in the morning from the clear daylight of dawn. And tis then you'll have to tackle up and plow the rocks upon. Rise up, rise up, young Sweeney, and give the horses him. Go, give them a good feed of oats before you start the day. Don't feed them on mashed turnip, let them out in yon green lawn. And tis then you might be able for to plough the rocks upon. 
My shoes, they are all worn, and my stockings are getting thin. And my heart is always trembling, what fear I would give in. My heart is always trembling from the clear daylight of dawn. I am afraid I won't be able far to close the rocks upon. My curse upon you, Sweeney, you have me dearly robbed. You're sitting by the fireside with your doodling in your gum. You're sitting by the fireside from the clear daylight of dawn. And I know you won't be able far to plow the rocks upon. I wish that Patrick Sarsfield would write to me in time and place me on some regiment while in my youth and prime. I would fight for Ireland's glory from the clear daylight of dawn. But I never would return again to plow the rocks upon. It is true that I must ramble. It is true that I must go on. It is true that I must ramble for my dear old Irish home. My poor old heart is breaking for the clear daylight of dawn. For I know I won't return no more to plow the rocks upon. Farewell to Milltown Malbay, a long and sad farewell. The sorrow in my heart today, no words of mine can tell. I'm parting from my dear old friends, the scenes I fondly love. May happiness attend them all, and blessings from above. A bright and pleasant youth was mine among the good folks there. No kinder hearts can e'er be found than those that throb in clear. And oh, how crushed and sad I feel, my tears fall down like rain. As I look my last upon the place, I'll never see again. From Barnabahel to the square, I often took a stroll and rambled out the Innes Road where Robert was my goal. To play a game of outs and combs and pass the time away. While listening to traditions old and legions of Malbaim. And often too I sought Pat Burks, where we had many a spree. Where Garrett Barry, who with his pipes filled our young hearts with gleam. And put young and old up dancing sets upon the kitchen floor. And the joy and fun that I had there, I never will have more. And the sea is gemmed with twinkling stars, and the sun shines bright to dim. And the rocky shore is fringed with foam from Spanish pine. To frame. The bard and fields go rolling down from Bala to the sea. Oh, what a soul entrancing sight is spread out there for me. 
the angelus its melody are ringing in the air men bear their heads on silently to mary breed a prayer if e'er i find this act about beyond the ocean foam twill bring to memory my last day i spent in my old home farewell to milltown malby farewell to one and all the sights i've seen the joys i've had i often will recall for with my heart i love the spot where i was born and nursed and where upon the sun kissed flags i crawled about at first tom hayes that made that song he was born there in this road in milltown malbe one morning in me as i happened to stray my river and sweet creation alas i espied with a chant by her sign who had once won my best admiration a picture was she with her hair flowing free and, and her footsteps the best couldn't fault her she sang a gay song as she tripped it along on her way to the well of spring water I swore to the truth that my love like her youth was as fresh and as fair as a stream sure my house is on land there were rather command and myself would be ever the same sure and the look in her eyes and her glance is so shy him to all me to not in vain that i sought her with a look and a smile that a saint would be guile she stooped for her can of spring water she lifted the can once again i began the story my heart wouldn't smother her twas ready to melt with love that i felt for i thought more of her than my mother her lips barely stir yet i cut not a word for her tongue and her step seemed to falter the can was upset and the two of us wet we fell into the well of spring water the rest that was said it could never be read no in truth we both disremembered we settled it all and with three sundays call we were married the tenth of september no man and his wife had so happy a life she's repeated again in her daughter and our little maureen trips it over the green when she goes to that well for spring water